Well, now, today we asked for an interview with the BBC Director General, George Entwistle, Head of News, Helen Bowden, Head of Editorial Strategy, David Jordan, and with Newsnight's Peter Rippon. No one was available. But I am now joined by Kevin Marsh, former editor of the BBC's Today programme. He was there during the last great scandal to rock the BBC when Today broadcast allegations that the government had sexed up a dossier on Iraqi weapons. Uh, Kevin Marsh, to anyone, and that is, after all, the vast majority of viewers who's never worked for the BBC, and I'm included in that, this appears to be a labyrinthine structure in which which is actually tailor-made for this kind of a shambles. They certainly don't make it very easy for, for people like me who have the BBC's best interests at heart and, and uh, like to defend it when we can. Uh, I think today has um, undermined a lot of uh, people who've been trying to defend the BBC. But, I mean, the BBC does have a labyrinthine structure. I mean, the very independence of mind that uh, uh, leads to Panorama broadcasting its, its uh, programme tonight is typical of the kind of editorial independence that exists inside the BBC. But the, isn't the, downside of that, yeah. the downside of that, John, of course, is that you, know, you don't have that person sitting at the top who knows absolutely everything that's going on and who can pull a lever and everything happens as he or she wishes. But you see, in a sense, the very fact that Panorama's broadcasting tonight... Now, either that was somebody at the top of the organisation saying, hey, Panorama, the best thing to do is get on there and try and do something to clarify all this, or it could have been Panorama saying, we're going to do this, and then nobody dares roll it over because they rolled over this, this Newsnight sample. I, I suspect that the editor of, of Panorama, who's, who's a, a great editor, thought this is an opportunity to try to tell a story uh, I think there is, there is a slight drawback in that it's clearly one side of a story, but nonetheless, it's a very compelling story. Uh, he saw the opportunity, and being the kind of cussed guy that BBC editors are, uh, he went ahead with it. I, the, the difficulty here, surely, is that it's at a moment of incredible transition in the BBC of our new director general sure. and the rest of it, not used to this kind of controversy. Mm. Um, how do you see it opening out? I think it's very difficult. I think the questions for, for, for George Entwistle, the DG, are, are very tough. I think MPs tomorrow will give him a, quite a tough grilling because uh, if, if, if it can be substantiated that the conversation between him and the head of news uh, went ahead in the terms that Panorama are going to report, which is, um, you know, you need to watch out for your schedule, George, or something along those, those lines, then, then I think questions will be asked about, not about why the, the Newsnight film was dropped, but why the tributes weren't. But in the nicest possible way, he needs to get a grip, doesn't he? I mean, the, 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 he, first of all, he says, I have absolute confidence in Peter Rippon. And then within days, he says, he stepped aside. You can tell what's happened there. Um, yeah. I, I think this is, this, is, this, is, this is part of the issue. I mean, the BBC tends to move very slowly uh, on these things. It tends to get its defence together, get its act together uh, very, very slowly. Um, it's not great at dealing with these major crises. I mean, I think, I think with George Entwistle, uh, I suspect that with hindsight, we'll judge that he's probably ended up doing the wrong thing for the right reasons. He thought he was putting distance between himself and the journalism. Uh, and in fact, that's, you know, he set up a Chinese wall, basically, that's fallen down on him. And what's your betting? I mean, uh, is anyone else going to have to, have to step aside? Uh, well, I'm not a betting man, but I think, you know, we've got to wait to see what the Nick Pollard uh, inquiry turns up. I think we do need to see uh, all sides of this question. Uh, the Panorama case is a very compelling case. It is the case for the prosecution. We do need to hear what the defence is. Kevin Marsh, thank you very much for joining us. Sarah.